Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? Welcome back to your weekly love and romance reading. Okay, so we're going to look into your connection with your person for this week. Okay, the second week of May. So you guys, as always, remember to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. You know, if you don't like the videos, then don't be surprised when the readings don't resonate with you. That's just how it works. It's give and take, okay? The same thing you're requesting in your relationship is what you have to do with others. And if you're not receiving even an equal give and take, then look to the connections that surround you that you're not giving to. Wink, wink. Now, with all that being said, remember that these readings are general. And if you want to get a reading that is actually for you, you can place your order. It's in the description bar down below. You can place the order on the link to the website. Okay? Only order on the website. And, you know, in the future, I will never reach out to you and ask you if you want a reading. Okay, so if you ever see that, which I'm, I don't think that that's there, but I'm just saying it because it is going around. Um, you only place orders on the site. That's why I made it that way years ago. Um, and what else? You guys, you could get the extended version to this reading by visiting the link down below as well. So Gemini, let's have a look at your person. Let's have a look at what's coming in for you guys. What is this person doing? What are they saying? How are they coming towards you this week? What can you expect this week? in love and romance. Ooh, okay. So you can expect something kind of like out of a hat, something that you're not expecting or something that you're hoping for, but not necessarily expecting to transpire. This person is coming towards you wanting to offer a new beginning, communicating about this ready and able to fix something, to create something, to begin something anew. They feel like there are, the possibilities are endless with you and that they can start something new with you. Okay. So when it comes to this connection, this person, this person's focused on being shut out. So this person feels shut out. This person, you know, doesn't feel good enough. They feel lack. They feel like they're not able to do certain things. They feel like, you know, um, there's a shortage. That's what they're focused on when it comes to this connection. What's not really working out. Okay. So yeah, that's what they're focused on. All right. Now this person, they really want a happily ever after and they're focused on their happily ever after. They could be around family and friends right now, but this person is just really focused on how they shut out they feel from you. And it's because of communication. It's also because of a lack of clarity. Okay. And they also want justice and love. They want justice when connecting with others and you know, they might be focusing on times when they didn't feel like things were fair or on certain dynamics in this connection where, um, you know, they feel shut out. That's what they're looking at. They're looking at what they what they're not getting. That's what they're focused on. So in the recent past, this person fell in love with you. They expressed their love towards you, right? And that was the energy around. They, they realized they had a lot of love for you and they saw a great value and worth in your connection. They really were feeling this for you. And it's through this love that they feel that they want to initiate things and that this passion is coming from. So what they're desiring with you, Gemini, is a whole new beginning. They want a new phase. They want to show you that this is good fortune, that this connection is good fortune, that there's a lot of good fortune. They also want you to be in the flow. They desire to um, stay in the flow. They desire for things to change and shift and move. Um, they're thinking about recent changes. If these changes have already happened, that's what they're thinking about. And they're thinking about how happy and lucky they are to have these recent changes take place in this connection. And if there aren't these recent changes and they're the bringer in of change, they're thinking about making a change and how how dynamic it will be. Iconic, I'm hearing, because it's ushering in a whole new phase. So they're, this person, they're realizing that they have a lot of possibilities around them. And there's a lot of potential as well of where this relationship could go. Right. And I feel like also they really feel a lot of opportunity with you, Gemini. They feel like you have a lot of potential and this relationship with you has a lot of potential. And so they're trusting in that. 
So what's going on this week is this person is showing up the way they normally show up. They're, they're not coming in inconsistently. They're not coming in funny. They're just coming in and showing up very grounded. They're showing up like you need them. They're alive. They're breathing. Um, they're healthy. And this is one of those weeks where things are kind of moving forward and this person or you, but it feels like it's more so on this person's end, is making a much long awaited, much needed decision to move forward that they've been waiting to make, okay? And because they've been weighing it up and they haven't really moved forward on whatever this is. And this has been a long time coming and they're finally making this decision, okay? And this person, they're also just moving forward slowly because they know in their heart of hearts, their intuition is telling them that you are their queen and you're the divine feminine. You're the woman that they want to be with. All right. So um, we're going to look more into what we can expect in the future of this week. Um, and we're going to also clarify further into all these cards here that's already on the table in the extended. You can follow me by visiting the link down below. I'll talk to you guys over there. Bye bye.